Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of All Day Edify. We're your hosts. I'm Corey. This is my lovely, beautiful wife, Tasha. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. Today's show is going to be really great. Again, I know I say that all the time, but we are enjoying the flow of discussing the communication process. And so our topic for today's show is the differences in the way men and women communicate. Yes, yes. And I really enjoy uh, both the way that this discussion has been going, uh, but also some of the feedback that we've gotten from some viewers uh, in regard to this unique top topic, the unique differences in the way that men and women communicate. Exactly. And so, you know, as we were putting this show together, we had actually found this quote which we both thought was just so true. And so this quote actually is from um, this author, John Gray, who actually made the book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. And this quote actually says, not only do men and women communicate differently, but they think, feel, perceive, react, respond, love, need and appreciate differently. And so we just really thought that that was a very interesting quote. Absolutely. Very powerful uh, quote, in fact, because it gives all the details and it helps us to better understand how we express ourselves. You know what, babe? I think this is going to be a really good show, both for men and for women. I agree. I mean, because, you know, we mentioned in our last episode that we would have our we will have guests on with us today. So I have to ask that since we have house guests, that you be on your best behavior because I know you love this topic and we want to be fair to allow everyone the opportunity to share with our viewers. I mean, I know you love to get people fired up because you love this topic. Okay, translation, I just like to have good communication, real conversations, real conversations about real things. All right, so I think more than anything, we should be a little bit concerned, make sure that my wife is playing fair as well, all right? Um, I'm just here to make sure that for the sake of the viewers, that we are able to have some fun and enjoyable conversation, but to uplift, inform, and enlighten our viewers as well. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that. But if you can recall, we talked about there being a difference between what is said and what is meant. So we'll have to see if my husband actually means what he says. I always mean what I say. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of our last episode, you know, we talked about uh, certain words um, carry certain meaning. And sometimes, sometimes it makes it difficult for people uh, to identify with our intent unless they are familiar with us. And so it's so important for people that we communicate with to have an understanding of who we are and then get an understanding of what's being communicated. Absolutely, absolutely. And so although we both love the quote that we showed, let's get some feedback from the guests that we have on our show today. So we have a guest who is joining us all the way from Nashville, Tennessee who has experience in working professionally as a property manager, and most importantly, she is an effective communicator. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mrs. Wendy Jones to the show. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Good to have you with us today. Good to be Hi. here. Hi, Hi Wendy. <laughs> Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, my name is Wendy Jones, and like she said, I'm from Nashville. Well, I'm from Flint, but <laughs> I live in Nashville. Yeah. So I'm glad to be here. Um, I am a property manager. I've been doing it for a very long time, for about mm, 16, 17 years, somewhere around there. And um, it has taught me a lot about yeah. communicating. Good, good, good. <laughs> Yep. And so, you know, we uh, we also have a male guest with us because we want to balance it out a little bit. Don't get it twisted, y'all. This ain't no tag team wrestling match. All right. But we do have an uh, individual who is a community minded entrepreneur, as well as a TV show host himself. None other than the real OG himself, 
Mr. Claude, hi. hi. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> good, good to have you with us, man. It's great to be here. Yep, if you could, please take a moment and introduce yourself to the viewers. Okay, well, I mean, uh, a lot of viewers may know me already. Claude High, the real OG. I'm a talk show host. Um, things they may not know, I'm a president, CEO of um, High Rise Entertainment. Uh, 20 plus years. I've um, been a director, producer, done documentaries, book author, music, uh, concert promoter, real estate developer, business owner. Uh, jack of many trades and a master of many. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I have to deal with people uh, quite often, and I, you know, have to sit back and listen. And I think the women may have a up on us on that one. You know what I'm saying? To be able gotcha. to listen, because in, in order to interpret, you have to listen. Absolutely. Okay. So you know, we really want to allow ourselves an opportunity to cover as much as possible, right, babe? Exactly. But. Before we dive into the first question, it is important to point out that the purpose of this dialogue is not to create hostility or disunity within our relationship, because we know there is enough of that going around. Absolutely. That's right, babe. So our goal is to encourage responsible dialogue, honest and open discussion between men and women so that we're not avoiding the sometimes difficult or challenging discussions and preventing progress from taking place. And so the communication process allows us to do that when we're, you know, when it's done effectively to avoid um, the difficult discussions, but to deal with them directly. That's right. And so as working professionals, you know, and people who seek to problem solve challenging situations, we are not avoidance type leaders. Absolutely. And I think that applies to everybody that's with us on today. Um, some leaders, it may encourage avoidance, but we believe in getting understanding because when you get an understanding, that's the best way to get it right. But uh, before we get into that first question, babe, could you put that quote back up, that slide back up? Yep, absolutely. And so this slide, you know, it says, you know, not only do men and women communicate differently, but they think, feel, perceive, react, respond, love, need, and appreciate differently. Absolutely. I love that. Okay. So ladies first, Wendy, do you agree with that quote? I agree a hundred percent. Good, good. Claude, how about yourself? Yeah, I, I do a hundred percent. And it's funny that y'all brought that book up because when you sent me the thing and was asking about it, I thought of this book, but it was so long ago. And I'm like, right. yeah, men are from, you know, Mars, women are from Venus and just hearing that and for you all to put it on there and it just yeah. brought it all back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this, 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 we... this, this topic has been out there a long time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think it's evolved now as the ages have evolved. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, we don't want to assume anything, you know, so to each of our guests in general, you know, um, which of the two do you believe are better communicators? You know, do you think men or women? And can you specify one reason why? All right. So we want to stick with the pattern of ladies going first. Okay. <laughs> so Wendy, if you could please tell us why it is that you believe that men are better communicators. Well, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> um, I do believe men, uh, women are better communicators than men. Okay. And it's because of our makeup and how we are, we are um, emotional creatures, but we also communicate with people to learn, to dissect, to analyze, to figure out um, what we need to know about them in the situation. Men don't, men don't do all of that. They're not um, searching out, you know, they don't ask questions like women do. Cause even with your children, you know, well, where are you going? Who they are? Where, what's their mama name? What's their daddy name? Who live in that house and blah, blah. And that's just questions that women ask even with my daughters well what's this guy's name and what his mama name is his daddy been in jail and is this? so we ask a lot of questions men don't generally ask 
even with the children, well, what you eat today? What you do in school today? And this, men don't care about that. What you want for dinner? And that's it. They don't want, they don't care about what you did at school today. So I think women are better communicators and information finders than men. That's my opinion. Now, before, before anybody else say anything, I just want to say that I didn't have an opinion yet or whatever. And I still, I'm still not putting my opinion out there, but I did not look at it the way Wendy just put it. But that's really good. That's really good. I just wanted to just add that. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So, Claude, same question applies to you. Um, why do you believe that men or women are better communicators? Um, which do you believe and why? Um. Well, I think that's a complex question, you know what I'm saying? In general, I think women are, in a, a general sense, I think a lot of times, especially when you come down to more technical stuff and men being in a more business or getting something done, it's, uh, I wouldn't say by the home or something like that, or family oriented, because women listen to things more, but men are, we tend to be more, um, Focus minded on a basic conversation, get straight to the point. <laughs> Women are definitely going to be more complex and emotional about the situation, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to go in a lot of different directions. So it depends on who and what it is. Because I think, um, like myself or any other, you know, leader out there in the community, I got to give it to us men, you know what I'm saying? We communicate, we're going to get the rat, the troops going, and we're going to get focused on what's got to get done. We're not going to get steered over here or steered over there. And we, I think right. we're going to communicate that. We're going to come up with a quick plan and say, okay, this is the direction we need to go and keep us on that course and try to communicate that, I think. Gotcha. Gotcha. I see Wendy looks happy about that response. She yeah. really does. I but I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I agree with uh, what a big part of what Claude saying. My wife picks on me all the time because she always tells me that sometimes women just want you to listen because that's what they do. But at the, at the same time, men are solution focused. So as that's we're it. listening, we are thinking of a solution and how we can go mm -hmm. about solving the problem. So we're ready to cut to the chase and get to the solution many times. I mm -hmm. agree with you 100%. Men are the thinker. So when you're thinking, you're not saying a lot. So they're thinking about how to resolve this, not saying a lot because their, their mind is on the solution because they're fixers. And so they're thinking about the solution as um, we're thinking about all the things that lead up to the solution, all the things that play a, a, a factor in the solution. So men, I just say, hey, you know, they're thinking about it. They're going to get it done and they're not, they're not verbalizing it. And women, we do. So I agree 100%. Good. And sometimes when we're talking about communication, um, like my husband saying, sometimes we just want you to listen. There isn't even anything that needs to be solved. So you're sitting there trying to solve mm -hmm. something that doesn't need to be solved. We just want you to actually just listen. listen. And so <laughs> the problem in that is you're trying to solve something. And it's like, no, just calm down. Just listen. And I'm not asking you to solve anything. And so that's kind of where that one-way communication come in because you're really not listening or you're not engaged in what I'm saying because you're really trying to solve and you're not really just listening to what I'm saying in the communication process. Now, I will say, I would I, I tell my husband sometimes, you're not listening to understand. You're listening to respond. I don't need that. I need you to understand what I'm saying. And you're right. It doesn't always, I don't always need uh, your solution. I need you to listen, to but understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. And I, I don't know, Claude, maybe you agree or disagree. I see, I see he done sat up. <laughs> so here's the thing, though. We Because we are forward thinking, because at the end of the day, it falls in our lap, Right. We're thinking about, it may not be a problem today. You just want me to listen today. But tomorrow, if we don't take some kind of adjustment in the way we're dealing with this, tomorrow we're going to have to deal with it. And so that's why, I believe that's a big part of why we are listening with a solution focus is because sometimes we realize like, oh, it ain't a problem today. 
But if we keep going in this direction and if you keep feeling this way about it, I'm going to have to deal with it. So that's a lot of why we are solution focused as we're listening. Right. I I, I think a uh, problem on both hand, women, men and women, is a lot of times we latch on to one thing that's been said and, and, and we don't we stop listening to the rest of it because we locked in on that one part. So, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. If a man say, well, I don't like this, 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 and this, and all she heard was, I don't like this, and that's it. She didn't hear the other part about what he said, well, I like this, or that, or da, da, da. It's just that one part, and vice versa. I think um, men hear one thing, and they lock on that and say, okay, this is what we got to fix and work on. And, and and then maybe three or four other things that get said, you know, so then the communication drops. And he's like, well, damn, what you want me to do? I solved the problem. I thought I did. Yeah, you saw one thing, but you didn't hear the other parts of it. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Absolutely. Okay. And so for men and women who struggle, is there a, is there any way that you believe the opposite gender can help them with improving their effectiveness? Hmm. So who is it? Well, we'll let the ladies go first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, yeah, it is. I mean, you know, when you're talking about the different types of, you know, sometimes too, um, when it comes to uh, communicating, sometimes you have to communicate to people. It just, it just depends. Sometimes you have to communicate to people the way they learn. And sometimes um, they don't always understand because you're not communicating it the way they learn and the way they understand. So it's hard when you are a visual and you're trying to say something to a person that learns and they are hand on, hands on or they learn by, you know, um, reading it or whatever. And um, so sometimes you have to you have to know who you're dealing with and Familiarity. Know what kind of person they are and know uh, what their thought process is, how they were raised. All of that play a factor. And if they have a, a little, uh, uh, I won't say character flaws, if they have some weaknesses, you know, you have to know how to handle that person and how to communicate. Because if you come off too aggressive or if you come off too passive, they might not totally understand. So I, I think it's based off how that person is. I agree. I agree. Okay. What do you think, babe? Well, I, I, I want to hear from Claude, and then I want to share with you what I think. Um, well, definitely to, to opposite sex, we have to understand one another, where we're coming from. We have to understand a, a woman's makeup is different than a man's makeup. And the same vice versa, the woman has to understand a man's makeup is different than a woman's makeup, you know. And I explain that to a lot of young men and young women, you know what I'm saying? I say, well, look, you can't get to thinking like a woman, you know, say, well, if I did do that, so no, we don't want to get to doing that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And vice versa, the woman, I don't want you to get to thinking like that. I want you to be respectful That's of right. where they're coming from, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want you to get to thinking like that because now we wind up in these other spaces that we don't want to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but we got to understand that um, definitely, like we said, uh, Mars and Venus, we interpret conversation differently we as men and we as women you know what i'm saying and men being more masculine we're gonna look at it in that sense and if it's a woman giving it to it we're gonna be thinking okay is this gonna be a little bit more fragile and i got to be this that or the other you know what i mean now um wendy she said she was you, you dealing real estate and this i have a few situations with real estate myself when i have somebody i'm a landlord and um when i'm working with people if you're a tenant of mine, I'm going to handle you a lot lighter when you were my tenant versus when you didn't moved out and we got a bad situation. I'm not going to hold you up. <laughs> I don't care, man or woman, I'm going to give it to you what it is. And mm -hmm. I'm going to let you know the other part of the feeling and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you don't have to, you know, you don't have to baby him because it's like, okay, exactly. well, our business is done. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm exactly. not trying to be like, I'm hurt or being ingenuous because usually I try to lay things out on the front board say let's go through this and so it's nothing there open if you got any questions let me know you got 30 days to let me know this this or this you know what I mean so it's nothing hidden no hidden agenda right and I think yeah. as far as communicating that's what we have to do in life is not have those hidden agendas 
and be able to read to see if people have hidden agendas. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, I agree. I agree. And my take on it, you know, in terms of learning something from uh, the opposite gender, I just believe that um, I believe that there's a great opportunity for balance there. You know, I think there's a lot for, uh, you know, I believe in shooting straight with people. I believe in shooting straight with people. And if I feel as though, um, you know, I'm not uncomfortable at all with having, you know, the higher conversations, you know, uh, because I feel like a lot of people, like you were saying, Wendy, a lot of people only learn things a certain way. So if all people know is you being aggressive with them and they don't know how to receive you trying to tone it down, then you hurting your whole communication process with them in terms of being effective. You're trying to tone it down and all they know is you coming at them rough because that's all they've accustomed to. And so I believe that there's an opportunity, like example, where I try to implement some of the listening part before I go at things in an aggressive way, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to apply some wisdom. And so that's one of the things that I've learned from my wife is that she's a really good listener. And I've gradually over the years learned to take it all in and just listen real good. But at the end of the day, if, if I feel as though all that's going to really be effective is being direct and aggressive, then I'm just going to be who I am. Yeah, I agree. Um, because I, with dealing with residents, I have, um, you have, I have 200 some people I deal with. So, you know, you're dealing with all different type of personalities and behaviors and all of that. So I do have to, some people I have to be very direct and harsh. Some people I have to be very gentle and some people I have to be very compassionate and very loving. And some people I can be very funny and engage a lot with. Um, so it is, it's based off of their, you know, how they have communicated with me. And so I do have people, I have to say, you know, I have to say, well, you know, um, it is what it is. You can read your lease. And if you have any further questions, um, you probably can put that in the email to the corporate office and they'll um, get it to the right person. And then you can move forward with them. OK. All right. You know. <laughs> and so I have to be like that because they don't mm -hmm. understand nothing else. With some right. other people I say, well, come in and let's talk about it. I can go over it with you. And mm -hmm. I know that. And I'm just based off knowing who I deal with. So I get I get it. Uh, uh, I get it, Corey. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. And so, you know, I, I think that overall, our takeaway from that is that, you know, there is always a lot that we can learn from one another. At the end of the day, we're not going to change our identity like you're saying, Claude. We're not going to change our approach to being who we are. You know what I mean? We're men are masculine and, you know, we go sometimes we go to get stuff. <laughs> Real true story. Very funny. We went to the dealership one time recently. And um, I'm in the car with my wife and, um, you know, they approached the car and we there to get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> and she just, she didn't say anything to him. She just pointed to me like, talk to the man. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, in some areas, it's a lot of opportunity for us to, for women to benefit from us stepping up and being who we are in the communication Absolutely. process. Just like um, a lot of times, because we work with a lot of men and women, um, a lot of times I'll direct women to talk to my wife because mm -hmm. she's going to deal with you with kid gloves. And I don't want anything to, that I say, not that I'm trying to be abrasive, but at the same time, um, I don't want anything to be lost in terms of you're looking to connect maybe with a softer tone or somebody to, you know, have a little bit more patience in dealing with you. Now I will say too, my husband and I, we, um, it's certain certain situations he'll say, Well, you know, I'll let you deal with my wife. So if it's something that I got to handle sometimes, depending on what it is, he'll send me. And if it's something that I want to shy away from, I send, you know, because he sometimes he can be a mean bulldog. So I send him to be the bulldog sometimes in certain situations where I'm not comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I agree, we have to know our uh, partners and where they excel. And where you're weak and where they're weak and where you excel. Yeah. So I think the overtone, the whole tone of it all is balance. I think mm -hmm. we want to be balanced in the way that we communicate with people. And if there's some messages that you might um, enlist somebody else to communicate for you, 
Um, so then that way you maintain the effectiveness in the communication. I think that that remains the goal, no matter what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. All right. So we want to take a turn in a different direction. And um, um, babe, if you would, please. All right. OK, so um, we in a uh, you know, we're as we're preparing this episode, we found these six signs of poor communication skills. Wow. This is a really good topic. Yeah. Differences in the way men and women communicate. Stay tuned for part two. Do you provide human services? Are you an entrepreneur that contributes to society? Do you have access to tools and resources that facilitate growth and development? Come be a guest on our show. You can email us at alldayedify at gmail.com or send us a message on our Facebook page at All Day Edify. The TV Talk Show. The TV Talk Show. The TV Talk Show. The TV Talk the TV Show. Talk Game, show. Of Game of Life. Game of Life. Game of Life. Hosted Game by the, the Real OG. The Real OG. The Real OG. You can watch it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 p.m. at www.sundial.tv. In the Game of Life, you're going to get knocked out, get knocked down. Ain't nobody going to be there to pick you up. Mama, not going to be there to... Hold your hand all the time. Daddy ain't gonna be there to, to shield you all the time. We done went insane. When you done go insane, you don't even know certain things that you do. Real OG is gonna give it to you raw and uh, in your face, you know what I mean? What's gonna be your, your what and your why? You know what I'm saying? What is it that's gonna get you motivated don't forget my haters. Y'all know what it is. Catch up on past episodes on YouTube. Search Sundial Networks TV show, Game of Life. Hey, hi, D and Roku fam. It's your girl, no other than, and that's me. I am hosting That's My Jams on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 to 7 p.m. and on Saturdays, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Please join me so we can enjoy these jams together. And also, follow me on Instagram and let me know what jam you may want to see. And we might just be able to get those played. Either way, join me. No other band. I'm looking forward to seeing you. A new TV channel, Sundial Networks, showcasing urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, movies, and more. TV lineups, slow jams, game of life, Sundial Soul, Live from the Smokehouse, The Battle, New Versus Old, 60s and 70s Time Machine, All That Jazz, and on Sunday, special programming with Religious Roots, Gospel Soul, R&B Classic Gospel. You can find us on the web and on most smart TVs at www.sundial.tv. That's sundial.tv. And on Roku. Yes, Roku. Free. No subscription needed. Search for us under Sundial Networks. That's S-U-N-D-I-A-L Networks. Sundial Networks. Hey, it's me, Sonya. Check me out Tuesdays and Thursdays between 8 and 9 and at 7 Central while I host Top 10 from the Streets on HiD.TV. Yes, and you can also search us under High Dimension Networks on Roku. Check me out. Liberty Tax. Tax preparation done right. Bring it in and we'll handle it. Located at 3046 West Pearson Road in Flint, Michigan, 48504. Call us at 810-221-0285. Let our friendly staff members put you first. Our service includes individual tax return preparation, small business tax returns and preparation, prior year returns, amended tax returns, and we also offer free checking of tax returns. Come on in and see what we can do for you. We thank you in advance. Hi, I'm Corey, and this is my wife, Tasha. And we're the hosts of the show, All Day Edify. And we've discovered that everything that you need to have a great future is right within your reach. That's right. Our goal is to reach out to those resources and connect them to you, your friends, and your family. So if you want to live your best life, 
Just tune into our show, All Day Edify, where we aim to uplift, inform, and enlighten you. All day, every day. All, All day, day, edify. edify.